Hey, it's Sam back here. Welcome to this video for WP Link Shield. I'm excited to show you the software in action. This is the second version of WP Link Shield, and there's a few additional features in this software from the first version that I think you'll really like. So, um, what is this first of all? Now, cloaked links, you'll probably see them in every email you open from a marketer that knows what they're doing. Uh, one of the reasons that we do links like this, and you'll see that all of my links always look like this, um, two main reasons. First of all, uh, email autoresponders like Aweber, Entreport, um, you know, MailChimp, they don't like it when you have your affiliate link directly added in here. So if it said, say for example, if I went over here and I got a affiliate link, like you would when you're promoting an affiliate product like this right here, and I went and included that directly in my email, chances are that I would go into the spam box for people that are opening my email, okay? They would, they would instead, they've subscribed to my email list, but they'll go into the spam um, folder because um, you know companies don't like this when it comes to email marketing. So we always cloak our links for that reason. The other reason is, you've probably seen this a few times embarrassingly, um, you know, I make mistakes as everyone does and will occasionally put the wrong link in or a page will be dead. And what this gives you the ability to do using a link cloaker, it gives you the ability, if you want to, to switch your link up. So change it, change the URL as you want within the link cloaker itself. So it means that if there's a dead page, you can always you know, redirect that traffic to somewhere else so you're not losing out on that traffic and you won't have the risk of people complaining to your um, you know, email uh, saying, hey, this isn't working for the next day or two days. And um, you know, that can cause a lot of issues in itself. And you've probably seen me, I've made that mistake several times. Now I always use a link cloaker to make sure that doesn't happen. Another good reason to use WP Link Shield is that a lot of these link cloakers, and I, I know this myself, being hacked before, um, have vulnerabilities. And I've actually had a link cloaker of mine hacked in the past, and it was not good. So, um, you know, one of the ways that you can protect uh, this is by using a link cloaker that is knowledgeable when it comes to protecting your links and making sure that you are, um, you know, using the right links with the right protection. So um, I'm gonna show you a demonstration of this software in action in just a moment. If you're doing any sort of affiliate marketing, uh, you know this is a software that you need. Even if you're doing any sort of advertising, you wanna track your links, promote your own products, um, you, you, you know, ideally, you want a software like this just in case that something goes wrong or to simply protect your links or um, you know, to make sure that the email autoresponder, your email client, doesn't put your emails into the spam box for your subscribers. So. Let's go ahead and set this up. Now, this will work with you know any sort of link. It'll work with JVZoo, it'll work with ClickBank, it'll work with Warrior Plus, um, it'll work all over any sort of links that you want to cloak, CPA offers, any of that. This will work with all of them. So this is what I do every single time that I send you an email or any time that I plan out an affiliate campaign or one of my own campaigns. I'll grab the link like I'm doing right here and then I'll go across to WP um, Link Shield or a software like this. I've been using a software called Pretty Links, and after seeing WP Link Shield, I'm probably going to use this, and I'll explain why in just a moment. There's a few additional features here that Pretty Links and other link cloakers don't really offer, which really makes this um, quite an attractive solution. So, um, so this is one click, click, uh, video site builder. Uh, live link. So this is the actual affiliate link and always test your links before you actually add them in to make sure that the link is active. This is a process that we follow every single promotion that we do. We click, we check, we can see it's active, we add it in now. So we're going to put in the URL that we want to cloak which is this affiliate link right here and it says remember to include the HTTPS which we have right here. Now this is the redirect mode. Um, I, I personally don't know too much about this. I usually just use Cloaked, but I believe that JavaScript um, can offer some additional protection. Uh, there'll be more information on the sales page about these. Um, I don't know too much about these different redirects myself. I always use the Cloaked option. The reason is that it shows this URL the entire time. The URL that I choose is gonna show that URL the entire time, and that's ideally um, you know, the URL that I want to show people. Okay, I don't necessarily want to do a redirect, I just wanna show people that um, the, my custom URL that I've created. 
Now this is a really handy feature, and this is one of the reasons that I, I like WP Link Shield up over um, the software that I've been using, which is Pretty Links. I'm not sure if Pretty Links is still available. I have the paid version of it, um, but I'm going to be using WP Link Shield mainly for this one feature. There's a lot of affiliate promotions that you'll see, and they're everywhere. I think there's a few that I can probably show you on the screen right now, um, where you'll send traffic to an affiliate offer without realizing that they're doing what's called harvesting leads. All right, that's a term that affiliate marketers describe when they send someone to an offer and without that customer buying, there's a popover capturing leads. It's a practice which you know is a bit gray. Some people don't like it. I personally don't like it because if I'm promoting an offer, I want to know that if the vendor who's selling the product that I'm promoting is getting my subscribers, then that um, they're buying, so I'm getting some benefit out of that, other than you know simply that vendor popping up an opt-in, getting a free opt-in without you know any benefit to me. Okay, simply benefiting themselves. And a lot of people, uh, myself included, don't really like pop-ups in general. I don't think they're a good practice to have um, if you're having affiliates promote your products. Now, I use pop-ups in different situations. Solo ads, for example, is a great situation if you've got an agreement with the person sending a solo ad to you where you might maybe use a pop-over. However, um, you know, usually we, we don't like this. So this has a disable feature, which is really quite smart because it disables that pop-up. And I'll be using that consistently because I think that, you know, and you probably see this as well, that those pop-ups are kind of annoying. Then we've got meta title. This is what shows in Facebook, across social media, if people share your link. This is also what shows up in the, um, you know, in the top tab up here. So the meta title. So in this case, I would put one click video um, uh, site builder. You can see it typing up here, a live Facebook preview. This is a cool software for WordPress that builds, builds websites populated, populated with video content from YouTube in less than 60 seconds. Cool, we've added that in. We've then got the URL here, and we've now got an image. Now this image we can browse for, we can add an image from the web, or we can browse for an image and put it in here that's related to one click video editor. So what I might do is I might actually grab a, uh, an image from the page, I can do that very easily. I might just copy image address, and I might put this across here. Cool, there it is. That's what it'll look like in Facebook. So say for example that you receive an email from me or that someone else does. One of my subscribers receives an email from me or your subscriber receives an email from you. What will happen is if they decide that they want to share your link from your email on social media, it's gonna show up on Facebook like this and it will also show up on other social media with a title and a description as well. Now finally, um, if you wanna track people, okay? If you wanna track people to a purchase or if you want to pixel them, so you can do retargeting to them through your link, there's also this advanced setting that's available here as well, and you can add that in, that's another feature. Now when you're ready, once you've set up your link, all you need to do is go ahead and click, as we see here, publish. And there we go, so that is my link that's been created right here, this is it right here. Now I had the first version of WP Link Shield installed on my website, so you'll see that these ones are actually, um, uh, you know, uh, posts that I've created previously um, using WP Link Shield. So this is my link that it's created. Now I can customize this link if I wanted to. I could click edit and customize how this looked. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and test it now. And if we go over here to a new URL, we enter that URL in, we now load the site. What it's going to show is socialpostmanager.com slash now slash one click video site builder live link. And it stays like that. The key part about this is that you're not seeing the affiliate link, okay? Although your visitors won't see the affiliate link, you'll still get the sale. If I was to go through now and I was to go click through and purchase through here, for example, what it's going to do is it's going to show me uh, that my number, my affiliate number in JVZoo has been cookied. Now you can use this the same way for any of your affiliate sites you're using from ClickBank to Warrior Plus, or you can use it with JVZoo or any sort of affiliate promotions that you're using as well. 
Not only that, but if you want to go ahead and share on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, there are quick links to that right here. So if you clicked on Share on Facebook, for example, it's going to allow you now to share this directly uh, onto Facebook, so you can now promote this website. If I clicked on Share on Facebook, it would now allow me to go ahead and share this on Facebook just like this. So that's how it's going to show to my people on Facebook. If someone shares your link, it's going to go down their newsfeed like that. And this is basically what the software does. It's a basic software, but one if you don't have that, that if you don't have yet, um, you you probably should consider looking at getting it because um, you know it's really important to clean up your links, make them look nice, make them look clickable, but also to have them there so the autoresponder companies you know allow your links to be um, you know uh, approved and, and not going to spam. And also, so if you make a mistake, you can always switch it back later on. If I wanted to edit this link right now, I could do that really easily through here. So if I saw that was a mistake, I'd put the wrong number in there. I could just click click update, and it's going to update that link for me. Really quite easy to do. And also with that disable exit pop-up feature, it does, does make it quite um, cool as well. And it means that you won't be sending away your subscribers without getting anything back in return. You've also got statistics here, so you can view the statistics of a particular link, all of your link uh, links or one in particular. You can also see unique visitors and keep track of how many people have been coming through, which is um, the reporting side of WP Link Shield. So if you want to get access to this, go down below, check out all of the information. There's a couple of really good bonuses down there as well. And um, go down below, get access earlier to get the best price. And I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration, this review of this software. Um, again, if you don't have a software like this, this is a good option. If you do have a software like this, consider the pop-up option that this offers. That's quite unique. And also if, um, you know, say for example, you don't have a link cloaker, you just have a link redirector. That's what Pretty Links is. It's a link redirector, not necessarily a link cloaker. Um, or not the way that I've been using it. So um, that, that this is also a, a good option for, for, for you, even if you have a current solution that's not quite um, doing it for you. But if you don't have a solution, this is definitely something to consider. If you do, then you may want to stick with your current solution. Otherwise, this is a really good option as well. All right. Thanks for listening. This is Zambaka. I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.